having us and thank you for inviting us. Now, let's look at your campaign. Please tell us about this hashtag proudly brought to you by the ANC campaign. Thanks. I think, firstly, we must start off by thanking everybody who participated. Um, the ANC sought to put in place, um, I think, a, a platform for communication that would speak about the successes of the ANC government. And obviously, we would have expected that there would be people who would uh, want to raise the challenges that they believe had been brought by the ANC government. We uh, believe that it is important for us to tell the story of delivery, which is 20 years of success in many areas. And um, it's also part and parcel of our platform where we're going to the citizenry. We are listening to what the concerns are because we are also in the process of developing our manifesto for the 2014 elections. So that campaign was successful in the sense that we got those issues out. You know, we were able to tell some of the achievements, but also engage South Africa on what the challenges are. So who are your target market? Um, it is South Africans in general, <laughs> unless you're speaking about the campaign in particular. Exactly. Now, when you speak about that, um, you, you remember, as you correctly said, that there had been, um, I suppose, an, an aggression, we believed, uh, from the Democratic Alliance with regards to that billboard. And um, we wanted to clarify various issues. Yes, e-tolls would have been brought by the ANC government, uh, but also in addition to that, there have been RTP houses that have been brought by the ANC government. There is Triple BE, which is supported, incidentally, by the uh, DA, which is brought by the ANC government. So we're speaking to South Africans across a, a wide cr uh, a cross section. But we know that Twitter is also obviously a platform that is used largely by young people, that is also usually large by the middle class and those people who wanted to speak to as well. But Twitter is also open for abuse. How do you curb that abuse? We, we must be careful. I think like any other platform, I mean, uh, at this point in time, the ANC is involved in the series of manifesto forums where we are meeting communities wherever those communities are and speaking on, on the successes and achievements, as I've indicated. Now, when you go out and engage, um, you are obviously opening yourself up for discussions, maybe abuse, as you call it. Um, what we would expect uh, in, in, in discussions, um, and obviously it is the policy of the African National Congress, that our discussions must be robust, but they must happen within our constitutional framework. So we would not uh, take kindly to people who would choose to infringe the rights of others, uh, infringe the dignity of others, infringe the privacy of others in terms of the issues that they put uh, across on Twitter. How's the response been so far? It's been a mixed bag, um, and, I, and I think that that's the nice thing about South Africa. You know, there are, there are a lot of us who are extremely happy about uh, what, what has been achieved in the country, and there are those that feel we can do better, and they would raise those issues. Um, and I think it's issues that the ANC government itself is the first one that says we must, we must improve. So we, we're happy because I think it moved from a position where our social media presence was largely broadcasting, you know, to one where we're saying to South Africans, talk to us, tell us about your vision of South Africa. We believe that we have done well in these areas um, but you know what what are the views that you would like to put across as well so it's been a mixed bag of reactions so you say it's a mixed bag so there must have been a couple of concerns as well uh, have you addressed those concerns raised by these users uh, as far as the ANC government is concerned well, we are continuing with the listening campaign. Um, we are calling, for example, on our website. We have put up there um, a, a form where people can go in and speak on what they would like to see in the manifesto. On our Facebook, Twitter uh, pages, we are also calling for those inputs. And all of those are going to culminate in the manifesto that the ANC is going to launch on the 8th of January next year. And that is then going to be the blueprint, you know, the plan that we're talking about, saying, having listened to the issues that have been raised by, uh, by the people of South Africa, this is how the ANC is going to uh, govern the next uh, five years moving forward. Kusela, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Alex. And that was uh, Kusela Sangoni Kawe, ANC spokesperson in studio with us.